Hello everyone. Listen to this. Right. So this actually happened to me. So someone came in for a food plan, right? And on my desk is a bag of jelly babies, right? I like sweets. Sometimes I, I like them, so I eat them. You know, run around God knows how many hours a day. And they're, it's all right. You know, it's in my, in my portion or whatever. I know if I'm putting weight on, then I'll probably cut back, but I'm all right. And then someone comes in for food, and they didn't ever go, whoa, oh, oh, that's not very good, is it? And I'm like, isn't it? No. Like, why isn't it? Well, it's sweets, isn't it? You're like, yeah, but what, why isn't it very good? Tell me why it isn't very good in the bigger picture. Oh, I don't know. I go, look, can you just see how negative you've been there? Like, you've just come in, you've come to me for nutrition, and you think, like, say I, I can't do anything else on, on, in the I can't ask my girlfriend, I can't change the light bulb, yeah? So say I was walking down the road and someone's building a wall, and I just stand there, and I lean over and I go, Phew. Well, I wouldn't do it like that. And it, you know, and it stands to reason I wouldn't do it like that. Do you know why? Because I don't fucking know. I don't know. But then I'm not going to express my, you know, Mew. he's building a wall, his method's his method. You, I, when we lose weight, my method's my method. So, so this brings me to another point. So on my second meal of the day, I don't have carbs for breakfast because you have carbs late at night on my plan. There's a reason beyond that. I'll go to that on another video. All right, okay, so you have your nice protein and your fibrous veg in that first thing in the morning. And then so you don't eat again until you're hungry. So a lot of people find they have their second meal of the day, which is porridge or Weetabix, at lunchtime. And they go, oh, yeah, I'm having porridge at lunchtime. And, you know, thingy from over in the corner was like, huh, porridge for lunch? What are you having porridge for lunch for? That's a breakfast, isn't it? Why is it a breakfast? Why is porridge a breakfast? Tell me why. Why is cornflakes a breakfast? Why is thing? Hey, yeah, marketing because of advertising. Yeah, crunching up cornflakes did a really cool thing a while about what they did. They did an advert of people eating it at night, and they go, "Oh, are you eating crunching up cornflakes at night?" Yes, yeah, a really good thing to eat at night. Of course it is. Yeah, with all that sugar late at night, it's perfect. And then all of a sudden, they, you know, they probably doubled sales. Okay, because it's marketing. But it's not that, it's the negativity towards it. So if you're a little bit unsure of a plan, and you think, oh yeah, oh, and you're really excited, and you think, oh mate, I'm making a change here. And, you know, and if someone walks past you in the office, you go, what are you eating that for this time of day? That's meant to be for breakfast. Who told you that? That's no good. Listen, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I tried a diet once, so it, didn't, yeah, it didn't work. More like you didn't follow it, mate. Yeah, but that negativity can really make you question your judgment, and it might take you a couple of weeks to get the confidence in your own plan to go. Oh, well, actually, this is what I eat for porridge. Because by then you would have lost a load of weight and you feel amazing. And then after a while, if they a lot of people, what does happen? They see you shrink and they go, "Oh, can I? Uh, can I try try what you're doing there?" And it amazes me how many people seem to really know their stuff about nutrition when they don't and they, even when they know they don't they still express a very negative view towards it now it might be because one they're projecting their own unhappiness or two they have tried several fad diets and it hasn't worked so it's left them a very negative association towards it so when they see that their natural reaction to it which is innate which is their instinct so it's not you know, I'm not having a pop at them is for them to resist it oh no no no, no that won't work we, we 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 often see it in oh no 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 that don't work I have it all the time and I say to people that you know you, you you might need to change oh no no I can't change that that's not their fault it's it's how it's been drummed into them so what I'm saying is just be wary, okay? If Whether it's my plan or anyone else's plan, stick to it, man. Stick to it, regardless of the negative uh, response that you might get. And look, this is a fail-safe method as well. If you are on plan and you're doing well and you're feeling really good and you've got friends or family, because it's always friends or family, wave a Big Mac under you and they go, no, come on, don't worry about your plan, don't worry about your plan. And they're trying their hardest for you to come off plan. That's their problem, not yours. And this is how you do it. You look them clearly in the eye and say, why do you want me to fail? Kills them every time. Because look, why would you do that? Say you embark that anything else you embarked on and they're, and they're trying to get you off, whether you're starting a family, whether you're building a house, whether you're you know, whether you're just doing something that you think is going to pause it and someone's going, well, you're stupid, mate, you're going to do it. Yeah, you want to do it. And you go, why do you want me to fail? I find that quite upsetting. 
we're meant to be friends and what you're trying to do is make me fail I would like some support please and that works okay stay on plan get good advice from professionals not you know Doris up the road or Steve your neighbor who you know they're not nutritionists okay or people that don't know what they're talking about food or they haven't been in the, in the industry for years all right I want you to have the best day and make it a good one